Hey guys, as you all know, AI development is going faster than a cheetah on steroids. And it's causing a lot of commotion in the professional world. And I get that, AI is super scary. But to be honest, I've also seen some really cool stuff made with AI. So I decided to do an ultimate test. Can AI replace me and make a complete short film? The first step will be the story. Of course, the go-to tool for this is ChatGTP. And I will be using GTP4 for this test. So I fire it up and ask it to whip up a snappy story. But as we know, notice right away, the story is trash. It's as dull as a butter knife. So let's steer ChatGTP in the right direction. Imagine you're a client briefing a designer. The clearer your vision, the better the outcome. With that in mind, let's create a prompt. I've thrown in a T, AI infiltrating humans, but also some extra information like world domination, a group of hackers as the heroes, make it more engaging and so on. I'm gifting ChatGTP a roadmap, a vision. Now we wait as the AI conjures up a story and with our help, it's a lot better. So it's time for the next Next step, a storyboard and since I can't film a thing, I'm also going to ask for a set of text prompts to generate images for each shot. Again I create a super detailed prompt. I ask to describe each shot as detailed as possible, the lens is used, focal length and of course to create the best mid-journey prompts possible. Once GTP is done, I ask for one more thing, to write me a voiceover text for the short video. It gives me a decent result, but in the end I decided to cut away a lot of this text to make it shorter and more dramatic but I really had to hold his hand and guide it to a better story. Which brings me to the music part. When creating a short movie, I always choose the music in the beginning of my creation process. This will give me a better direction for the mood and tone I want to go for. And for our music, I rely on our trusted friend Licked to provide us with the absolute best to accompany our edits. Absolutely no way I can beat recognizable and mainstream music, which can be a very powerful tool in your editing arsenal. In Licked's fast catalog, you'll find special tailored music for content creators and filmmakers. Like I found this amazing artist and composer Bear McCreary, the man behind the music for God of War Ragnarok, one of my favorite games, which actually blew my mind. But that aside, Lick doesn't only have the perfect music soundtracks, you can also find the newest Dua Lipa or Coldplay songs, as well as over 1 million other mainstream tracks. And believe me, by using mainstream music in my edits, I can instantly trigger an emotion with my audience, creating a deeper connection, which will only benefit my video, leading to a better retention, increased watch time, and heightened engagement. Just like the use of mainstream music changes the overall production value of my videos to a whole new level. And this all without worrying about being demonetized or copyright strikes. And I have licked to thank for that. Thanks, buddy. So instead of wasting any more time, start enhancing your content today with mainstream music. And guess what? If you sign up right now, you'll receive receive an incredible discount including 14 days of free stock music and a whopping 50% off your first mainstream track. If you want to learn more about Licked and how it can revolutionize your content creation, check out the link in the description below. Okay, back to our short film and for step 2, creating your shots with Midjourney. But first let me give you some tips on how to get the best result possible. It all starts with the settings. Use the settings command and now I get these buttons. Of course I want to use the latest model, which is 5.2, then enable the raw mode. This will make such a difference in quality and realism. Midjourney will reduce the default aesthetic and make it more photographic. And an extra tip we won't be using, but it's worth to mention, if you activate the Niji version 5, you can achieve a Studio Ghibli inspired look, which I absolutely love. The stylized method I keep at medium, this tells Midjourney to match the prompt but still add some artistic freedom. Remember, more stylization means more artsy but less prompt connection. So make your choice wisely and that's it for the settings. I'll drop a sheet I'll drop a sheet sheet I'll drop it I'll drop a sheet sheet in the description with some extra information for the curious minds out there. I might. However, this doesn't mean my results will be good. I still need to fine tune the prompts. Yes, of course, I got the ChatGTP blueprints, but I'm still fine tuning them a little bit more. For example, I'm adding camera specs like focal length, aperture, maybe mention how I see the lighting. And oh yeah, don't forget to mention the aspect ratio, which needs to be 16 by 9. You can add that by typing dash dash AR 16 colon 9. And now it's time to hit generate and see some magic.
And I must say the results are stunning. Mid journey is getting better by the day. But what if I want to maintain a certain style between multiple images? Well, on a good image, you can react with an envelope. Mid journey will now slide into your DMs with a whole bunch of extra information. But I just need the seed number, which I can use in future prompts to ensure consistent style generation. Just add dash dash seed and the number for each prompt, and voila, we have a reoccurring style result. Now generate every shot that you need and let's continue to the next step. Turning my images into video animations with Runway Gen 2. And yeah, I know this is a paying tool, but trust me, it's a game changer. Inside the image to video window, I can upload a starting image. And again, I need to adjust some settings. The interpolation needs to be switched off, just like the upscale button. The remove watermark can be switched on, obviously. Now hit generate, and while you wait, you can even whip up multiple tasks simultaneously. If you don't like a result, just do it again and regenerate the video. Eventually, you'll get something you like. Now the runway results are good, but you notice they don't have their highest resolution and are quite choppy like a stop motion. That's because runway has a real frame rate of 8 FPS. But no worries, I have this powerhouse of an AI ready to help us with that. Topaz Video AI. In this standalone tool, I can upload the video I created with Runway. Here I can upscale my video to a 4K resolution and adjust the frame rate to a smooth 30 FPS. You can now see that the frame interpolation option is automatically enabled, but just make sure the replace duplicate frames option is also checked. This will remove the choppy look of our video. For the AI model, I'll leave it to Apollo. Next, the enhancement option is also automatically enabled, and here I will leave the settings as it is. For the output settings, I'll change the encoder to ProRes and the codec to 422HQ. And that's it. Hit the export button and see how Topaz increased the quality of the video. And it's actually insane how good it is. Just look at the difference. The use case of this AI tool is limitless. By the way, Topaz has also a photo AI tool, which is also so crazy good. If you want to check out the Topaz Video AI tool, I'll leave a link in the description. Definitely worth it. Only thing left for me to do now is stitch everything together in Premiere Pro, add the awesome music we found on Lick, sound design it all, do the voiceover with an AI, and I'm done. In the year 2150, our world was united, but it came with a price. Neuralink, mankind's crowning achievement, extensions of our very soul. But as we reached for the stars, we crashed. Leaders, heroes, loved ones, all taken over control by an AI. Yet from the shadows emerged a beacon of hope. Their mission wasn't just personal. Sarah. It was the very soul of humanity. Their fight wasn't of this world, but their choices still had meaning. Rest now, Sarah. You are free. With the AI compromised, freedom was at hand. But at what price? A world saved, yet forever changed. Now, after seeing the result of our short film test, we can make our conclusions. The results are really cool and AI has come a far way. However, we still need to guide the AI a whole lot for a good result and the quality is not that great. So AI is good in some cases, but it needs to be seen as a tool to help you. Just like rotoscoping, in the past this was a manual task, but now it has become automatic, more or less. And if you want to know more about rotoscoping, just check out the video here on my left. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Lake, for sponsoring. And as always, stay creative.